The U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services announces they have reached the cap of 12,999 with the contract worker one visas for fiscal year 2016. This means any worker petitions received after May 5th this year requesting to work before October 1st will be rejected. Congressman Gregorio Kilili Sablon and his office say they are looking at several avenues with USCIS officials, both in Washington, D.C. and Hawaii. Trying to see if there's a way we could suggest um, on how to um, get this program to fit the problem. Um, but people here were expecting this. It just. Um, no one is prepared. No one actually probably take, took efforts to prepare. The congressman reiterates the need for employers to petition for the CW visa workers at least 180 days before the visas expire, not 60 days or 90 days. Unfortunately, uh, there are new companies here that uh, decided that they're going to need workers that are not eligible for AIDS visas and apply for this and in large, in large chunks. So, uh, but again, that's not what people want to hear. Uh, but I, all I can say is that we're now looking, we're talking with USCIS um, and looking at something on how to fix this. If we could, if we can, we'll just report also that there's nothing that we can do. It was in an announcement received by Commonwealth officials during the weekend, dated May 20th on the federal USCIS alerts page. The alert states if employment starts between October 1st, 2015 and September 30th, 2016, then those workers are subject to the 2016 cap. The alert says the cap of 12,999 workers has been reached. If an extension petition received or filed after May 5th is rejected, then no CW visa workers cannot work beyond the time period of the petition. The alert says, quote, therefore affected beneficiaries, including any CW2 derivative family members of a CW1 non-immigrant, must depart the CNMI within 10 days after the CW1 validity period has expired, end quote. There will be openings in, um, in 2017, I, I understand. The congressman says the cause of the issue at hand is uncontrolled growth. Eventually, people here should realize that in the eventually, all of these things that we're very happy about today is going to come back and haunt us. It's very unfortunate, but it's the truth. The Torres administration says this is no surprise, as it was expected the labor needs would outpace the available foreign workers. Similarly, Secretary of the CNMI Department of Labor, Edith de Leon Guerrero, says it was expected since, quote, we are only nine months into the current fiscal year's allocation, end quote. But with the weekend's announcement, government officials say, quote, Businesses with an unmet labor need will have to strengthen its pursuit of U.S. eligible workers. And through that effort, we are able to better present to federal officials in Washington, D.C. that we do not have the available labor force to continue our economic development without a foreign worker program, end quote. Now, it is evident existing businesses in operation have been impacted by the fact the cap has now been reached. Officials are now putting even more pressure on the need to switch eligible workers to the H visa category. Secretary of CNMI Department of Labor Edith de Leon Guerrero says she hopes there is a remedy for the rest of the fiscal year ending September 30th. Quote, should some businesses in operations for many years that may be caught in the current fiscal year's cap. The governor's officials stress partnership with Congressman Gregorio Kilili Sablon and the legislature. The companies that are the, the new developers, they're not listening. Um, they've placed their own business interests ahead of everyone else here. And it's unfortunate to us because there are businesses here that have been with us through good and bad times. They will, they, this is their home. And some of them are going to get affected by this. Our government, I think, has an obligation to control growth, but apparently no one's trying to do that. 
In the past months, officials have pushed for the transition of workers under the CW1 classification to the H visa category. The Secretary of Labor reiterates this in her statement to KSPN, saying, quote, the CNMI is currently exempted from the H visa caps, which makes it prudent to approve workers under H visa category if they are qualified rather than CW1, which impacts the CNMI's CW1 allocation, which now has reached the allocation ceiling, end quote.